Hi, my name is David. I'm from Taiwan. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate this project I made with Unity. Um, this is a Rock and Rock VR, a VR version of Rock and Rock Online I'm trying to remake. Um, so uh, before I start, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put uh, some link down below so you can check my credits and some form for you to uh, fill up if you want to. And so from the beginning, I made this uh, hand model uh, with gesture. So actually you can press the trigger to start the gesture. And also this uh, hand can be used to, uh, used to grab weapons and items. And before that, I'm going to show you this structure. You can actually swipe in front of you. And it's open this uh, main menu. And the UI system at this time will always follow you um, facing the player. And from this main menu, we can open our status menu or our item menu, our equipment menu, and our map. And option and exit. And let's start with our uh, status menu uh, UI. And from this, we can actually um, put our status point. Um, I use this, uh, I designed this with a renewal equation. And this is only a level one, player is only level one. And we can see that all this status will have uh, correct effects on our abilities. So if you want to check, you can see if uh, this is correct. Okay. And then secondly, uh, we have our uh, item UI. And we can open our item from the main, main menu, or we can also open it from our back here. So I have designed a back backpack here that follow the player. So you can see that you always follow the player whenever we go. And then we can open it just by putting our hand on this and press the trigger. And when we open the item uh, inventory menu, we can actually use our gesture and point to the item we want to grab, such as this sword. And the sword will uh, materialize and, and we automatically hold in our hands. So this sword I will demonstrate later. We can actually uh, uh, have designed a monster uh, AI and some monster uh, like Corrin and Lunatics. So we can actually uh, attack and also block with the weapons. And I also designed that we can put our items, whatever is weapon or items uh, or uh, potions, we can just simply put this item into the back like this and it will be put back to the backpack. You can see this car too. This is a moonlight uh, car. And we can also just simply, I can, I know where is the backpack, so I can actually just put my hand like this straight away to the, my uh, vest. Then I can see that the car will automatically go into the inventory. And then it's the equipment menu. Um, here, I'm still uh, thinking about how to design the equipment. Uh, this will use the same spirit uh, to show the equipment and also the headgears and weapons. But I'm thinking how to show the 3D model version of the equipment onto the player's body so that it fits uh, good with uh, VR experience. experience. And then next is the maps uh, menu. Uh, on this map, I'm going to put uh, maps information such as the, what kind of monsters, uh, the maps name, NPCs, and etc. On this, onto this uh, map system menu. And next, you can see also that we can teleport to move, but I think this uh, is temporary just to use for um, fast navigating. And with the actual game, we will. Uh, we might not have these teleportations, and but I also I have designed uh, another locomotion so we can move actually by running, 
and I think I will, I'm going to also implement another uh, writing system so we can actually write our um, there's a monster that we can write so we can control with our controller um, just by um, pointed pointing or as such as the joystick when we play the you know, flying uh, games so we can also just simply move in this area uh, this is a uh, room scale so uh, this is five I'm using so we can use the room scale to simply walk around in short distance but if we want to if we want to move up uh, for a long distance we can actually just uh, hold uh, facing this uh, hold the left trick uh, controller forward and hold the right trigger with the grips then we can start running this so uh, actually we are running uh, we can we are running in, a, in the same spot, just juggling. But uh, inside the game, we are actually moving forward. And I have tested this that uh, this is actually inspired by a, a, a Reddit uh, form user that he made a, a, a local motion called RIP motions. And this is actually same as his um, local motion but I have remade uh, for my own and I think this is still um, a lot of work to uh, improve but this still works uh, pretty well and sorry and we can actually just run around even we can run forward but we can look at the side we can turn our head so actually the movement and the head is uh, decoupled so we can look everywhere we want while running and now uh, we can see this uh, Kafra NPC. So I have designed a simple uh, NPC system that when we want to conversate with uh, the NPC, we actually have to look at them. And we can see there's a, a conversation dialogue there. And then we can just, uh, when we look at them, then we can wave our hands like this. Then there, this will show up with the dialogues. And so this is an uh, artwork designed by a uh, Taiwanese uh, friend uh, and we can interact with this dialogue simply by using a gesture and selecting the, the option we want. And this is cancel. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the uh, monster system. So let me just open my inventory. And then let's select the sword again and close our inventory. So I also invent, uh, also designed this uh, weapon spot so we can actually put our weapons in this spot like this. And this this will hang the weapon on our wrist on our belt. And we can actually just grab this or put it back even without looking. So we can just put it. Here. Like this. And, yep. and now with the monsters, uh, I have designed them to uh, move and wander as uh, very similar to original rock and roll online. So now if we hit this Atlantic, we can see that the damage appear and we can actually dodge with our physical body so we can dodge the attack but if we don't dodge then we get attack yep we get damage if we don't dodge and this i think we can um have further design to have uh, smarter ai so they can actually uh, have smarter attack and they also dodge um, Uh, they, we can see that they also drop their items, such as the car. So we can put it into our. You can see the car here. And then we can just simply put it into the back. Let's, uh, let's try hitting another boring thing. Let's try with the other weapons here. With the stuff. Oh, 
just gonna put our weapons back to the back. So now let's uh, see. Let's go to the uh, Peyan city. I have made the map from uh, Pruntera to Peyan, all the way to Peyan. So, and also the east route. But if you want to see uh, the east route and also the full run, uh, run, running to Peyan, you can check out my uh, previous video. And now I'm going to I'm going to teleport to the uh, Peyang city and show you how it looks. This is the site. Apology for the bad English. Uh, if you have uh, questions or you don't understand what I'm saying, you can uh, leave comments or send me emails. And I will try to reply it uh, as soon as possible. And now we are entering the Peyong Guild. So this is Peyong uh, Guild map. And let's start running from here. You can see it uh, looks pretty good while we're running. And you, in, on the screen, you might uh, feel that it's pretty shaky, but actually, it's only my head movement, movement. And from my point of view, from the user, VR user, actually, it's not very shaky. Uh, it's actually not shaking at all. Um, so, it doesn't feel dizzy or anything. And the running actually feels uh, very natural. And with this running speed, we can actually improve, uh, increase the speed by our skills and maybe other potions. I want to show you this site here. It looks really good from here. Uh, with the new water effects, I can go closer again. This water effect I found uh, is very close to the original, but a slightly improved version, so it looks really good. And without uh, using much of uh, power, uh, computer power to process. Now back to the Young, we can let's go fast forward to the payout. So this is the entrance and this is how it looks. Let's check the river here. So it's, this actually feels really real. I can almost feel like I can touch this. Uh, bridge and lean, lean on it. Let's check the other side. And let's go with this shortcut here. And here's our Feyang city. And 
I'll only complete the map in, uh, up to this location, and my further plan will be uh, like expanding the map and also design a skill system with uh, other uh, writing system and also the special effect system. And uh, so, if you want, if you have any opinions, feel free to uh, contact me. That's about it and thank you for watching. See you next time.